what is percentage? Percentage means hundreds, which is a fraction with hundred as a denominator. And the symbol for percent is... For example, 15% means 15 over 100, and it means 15%. In this video, I will show you all the basic concepts about percentage, and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first basic concept of percentage. How to convert percentage into fractions? Let's look at example 1. 15% means 15 over 100. To simplify this, we have to divide it by 5 top and bottom, and then we'll get 3 over 20. Let's look at example 2. 20% means 20 over 100, and then the top and bottom, we have to divide it by 20 to simplify it. So we'll get 1 over 5. So let's look at example 3. 150% means 150 over 100. To simplify this, we have to divide it by 50 top and bottom, and then we'll get 3 over 2. So to change this improper fraction to become a mixed number, we have to divide. So 3 divided by 2 is 1, 1 over 2. So therefore, the answer is 1, 1 over 2. How to convert fractions into percentage? Let's look at example 1. So given 7 over 10. So in order to convert this fraction into percentage, we have to multiply by 100%. So first of all, we see what we can cancel. So 0 and 0, we can cancel the 0, 1 on top and 1 at the bottom. So we get 7 times 10, which is 70%. Let's look at example 2. Given 1 over 4, in order to convert this fraction to become percentage, we have to multiply by 100%. And then we see what we can cancel. So 100 can be divided by 4. So 100 divided by 4 is 25, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the answer is 25%. Let's look at example 3. So given a mixed number, 1, 2 over 5. So first of all, we have to change this into an improper fraction. And then after that, to convert into percentage, we have to multiply by 100%. And then we see what we can cancel. 100 can be divided by 5 to become 20 here and 1 here. So 7 times 20 is 140. Therefore, the answer is 140%. How to convert percentage into decimals? Let's look at example 1. 8% means 8 over 100, which is 0 0.08. Let's look at example 2. 25% means 25 over 100, which is 0 0.25. Let's look at example 3. 175% means 175 over 100, which is 1.75. How to convert decimals into percentage? Let's look at example 1. 0 0.03 means 3 over 100, which is 3%. Let's look at example 2. 0 0.75 means 75 over 100, which is 75%. Let's look at example 3. 1.33 means 133 over 100, which is 133%. How to convert percentage of a given quantity? Let's look at example 1. 10% of 150, so 10% change to 10 over 100, and then off change to times, and then 150. And then we see what we can cancel. So 1 zero on top, 1 zero at the bottom, 1 zero on top, 1 zero at the bottom. So therefore the answer is 15. Let's look at example 2. 60% of 120. So 60% means 60 over 100. Of means times, so times 120. And then we see what we can cancel. 1 zero on top, 1 zero at the bottom, 1 zero on top, 1 zero at the bottom. So therefore 6 times 12 is 72. Let's look at example 3. 180% of 200. So 180% means 180 over 100. Of means times. So times 200. And then we see what we can cancel. 
So we cancel two zeros on top and two zeros at the bottom. So therefore, the answer is 180 times 2 is 360. How to calculate the quantity of a given percentage? So let's look at example 1. 30% of a number is equal to 150. So 30% we change to 30 over 100 of we change to times of a number is equal to 150. In order to get the number, we have to shift this fraction over to the right hand side, we flip it upside down, so 100 over 30. So 150 times 100 divided by 30, the answer is 500. Let's look at example 2. 80% of a number is equal to 200. So 80% means 80 over 100. So off means times of a number is equal to 200. So we have to shift this fraction over to the right hand side, we flip it upside down, which is 100 over 80. So 200 times 100 divided by 80 is 250. How to solve problems involving percentage? Let's look at this example. There are 120 teachers attending a seminar. 60% of them are female. How many male teachers are there? Let's look at this solution. So to find the percentage of male teachers, we have to use 100% minus 60%, which is equal to 40%. So to find the number of male teachers, we use 40% times 120, which is the total number of teachers attending the seminar. So therefore, the answer is 48. Well, that's all for now. If you have understood what you have learned today, remember to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned to my next video which is percentage part 2. In that video, I will teach you problem solving involving percentage in daily life coming up next week. Bye guys!